Episode 7. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's free music class um, has to do with what we talked to you about in a previous class, which was spending some time every day on your career. It's not easy to know what to do, so we thought we'd give you a task that you might enjoy doing. Uh, and this is easy, by the way. It's pretty easy. It involves going into your closet and looking at your clothes. We're going to tell you why. I guess the, uh, the key word we want to talk about is image. So as an artist, some people just got it. If you can look at somebody and they tell you they rap right or produce or whatever it is, they kind of have that look already. Some of us, they have the talent, but they don't really understand that they really don't have the look. So when we say take a look at your closet, just really do a self-assessment of your actual image. How are you perceived? I had a guy come to me in, in Vegas with a CD, said he was an artist, and he didn't look like an artist, but just because of his, he could have been good, but just because of his image, it just made me not even want to listen to the CD that he was trying to give me. A very famous opera teacher had three categories. She'd go, great, you got a great look. Her other category was, you have a look, now change it. <laughs> and the third category was, you have no look, find one. Right? I almost want to have you repeat that. That was pretty good. We have, um, I mean, there's a few things. Everybody you know, everybody you come across is going to have an opinion, whether it's friends, family, strangers, people that you audition in front of. Um, the key thing is an artist, you have to be um, able to take criticism. You have to be open and, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. And you have to find that balance between staying true to who you are in terms of what your style is. So if you're you're, you're classy, you don't want to, you know, somebody say, hey, I think you should wear sneakers and shorts. You don't want to have a sports look, then don't do that. But at the same token, if you're going, your career is going on for years and years and years, you haven't gotten anywhere, you may need to listen to what those people said about three or four years ago and try something different. And a great point you just brought up. You can't be afraid to change if it's not working. You must assess the way your career is going along. If you've been working and working and a year or two have gone by and nothing has happened beyond the same 25 people from your family who show up to listen to you sing at a, at a barbecue, you might want to rethink what you're doing. It may be the songs you're singing are wrong. It could be the look. It could be a combination. It could be that you haven't done any homework. Um, unlike, um, well, let's put it another way. You don't become a doctor without going to school. Just because you have a nice voice doesn't mean you don't go to school. You don't take lessons. It doesn't mean you don't study the people that you think are the best. But be assured, if Lady Gaga already exists, we don't need another one. You got that right. So don't try to be someone else. You must be the most original person you are that's true to you. So image-wise, you're trying to figure out who you are with a look as opposed to who you are emotionally inside. Right, because we can all name just any entertainer. As soon as you, somebody says that name, you, ha you almost already have an, a clear picture of what you would expect them to look like. So if you were going to a concert or they're about to interview, you kind of expect them to look a certain way. So you have to develop what your look is. So at the point of your career where you're, you're Making progress, but you're not really sure how it's going. Just be sure to evaluate how things are going. Don't be scared to to be open. And if you're a singer, but you also write and you also produce, sometimes you may need to revisit that and say, should I stop singing and focus more on production? Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes you make right. a clear choice of this isn't working as well for me as I thought and it's fast. And I may need to switch to one of my other talents. And sometimes you kind of get pushed in that direction because people see it in you anyway. And then you wind up doing writing for, on more songs than you are singing on more songs. And then you kind of have to pay attention to that shift. So also, just be open to the changes in your career so that you don't just fade out and nobody knows who you are. And one of the exciting, uh, very exciting pieces of information we have to offer you is there are at least 250 different kinds of jobs in the music industry. If you just want to work with singers and songwriters and engineers and you want to be part of the music industry but your voice is just okay doesn't mean you have to give up you can still be part of a very exciting industry uh, there are many we'll talk about that on another class but 
in the meantime, you're going to still need to look. You still need to figure out. I mean, obviously, I'm relaxed in the office, but I'm in an office. But if you're going to be on stage, you don't have to go to your family barbecue dressed in a costume. And that's the other thing to remember. There are lights on a stage. Costumes work differently under lights. So sparkles work uh, and reflect light. Certain colors do not work on television cameras. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing one of them, one of the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, red bleeds all over television. You shouldn't, red is a terrible color to wear on a television uh, show. Uh, but there are exceptions, and the people who are professionals know how to make the exceptions. So you have got to learn this. How do you learn it? Books, Google, uh, find people in the industry. Instead of saying, oh, gee, can you make me a star? Yeah. Say, hey, can you help me with, I, I'm wearing this outfit. Does it look good on me? Take that. That's great. A professional is giving you their opinion. Talk to somebody that's keeping it real, somebody that's not scared to, to be blunt and tell you that that mm -hmm. doesn't look right. Right, and again, if you're on stage, very different than if you're sitting in the audience. You can still look good in the audience if you're trying to put across an image of a professional, and you always want to be ready. But performing on a stage is very different than walking down the street, and you need to be able to figure out how to make that adaptation. So when you go to your closet in today's little job that you can do, and you can do it day after day, go through your clothes, Figure out wh whether or not you would be comfortable and if you would look good on a stage under lights and, more importantly, look better than the audience. That's right. You Don't blame uh, Oh, really? If, if, somebody shouldn't ask you for a drink. Or <laughs> thank you. If, you're, if, if there's somebody at that front row that is really dressed to the nines and you're on there in your dungarees, they better be specially dyed dungarees that reflect the light and make your country singing, if that's what you're doing, just feel wonderful. It is stagecraft. It is not just wearing clothes. But you may have them in your closet. Don't spend a lot of money. You may just need to have a friend who's great at sewing, add a little something to a collar to make it sparkle a little bit, um, and just build it uh, and try to be consistent. So if that's you're right. always going to dress in a gown, don't on day two, we're done grease. Figure out what your look is. That's right. I mean, that's, that's the gist of everything. We're keeping it a little bit short today, but uh, image is everything. And on that note, you have something to do and to work on. Take notes. It is school. You know, that's what getting prepared for your career is because if a major record label walks up to you and says, I love your singing, I love your song, you do a concert tomorrow night, you're going to open for somebody big. What are you wearing? You know, they're not going to tell you everything. You better have something together. On that note, we shout out to the hometown of? Philadelphia. There shout you go. Out to Philly. All right. Uh, and see you on episode eight, we hope. Oh, say who? Well, we're not off yet. It's good <laughs> enough. Kevin Curtin? Mitch Weiss. All right. There we go. Now we're out.